We saw this today just explode. You know, we just had great earnings. Earnings were here, and then you flip this level, and then you went above it. Now you'll just look excellent. And now look at the volume that's coming in. So anyone's going to be all over that chart now because you now you flip that wick, right? Wicks are what? Price rejection. You opened right there. So this wick ties right in with that open on earnings. And now you're above all that. Once you cl clear these nasty red bars, that's it. It's game on. So this probably continues to push. Uh, what you'd like to see is you'd like to see some kind of flag maybe if you're fortunate enough and then push. I don't know what we're going to see here, but... I would keep an eye on this. I wouldn't want to buy it if it got overextended. Maybe if we could form some kind of flag and go from there. But this is perfect because you're in the right sector. You're a foundry that's already functioning in the U.S. They're looking to expand foundry functionality and utilization throughout the, the entire world because of what's going on with China and the lockdown still. So this makes a lot of sense. Uh, and names like this can can continue to move. The other, the other one that we already did... Um, we did in the trading room. It's also in the newsletter. Uh, so we actually bought this one around 85, pulled back, and now we're just staying in the trade. But the reason I bring this up is foundries are, are, are setting up a little bit better, aren't they? So the foundries, Taiwan Semi, UMC, GFS, I focus on GFS and Taiwan Semi, they're hitting higher highs. AMD, NVIDIA, not so much. So that kind of tells you where the inflows of capital are going, right? And maybe that's something that you should consider when you're, you're thinking about buying one of those, you know, buying into that industry. So just something to think about. So if you like this clip, click on the left to watch another one. Or if you want to see the entire video, click on the right.